While the rest of the world struggles with EV adoption, China is on full throttle and electric pickups are currently on a swing. It looks like Chinese car makers have found a way to make them capable enough to compete with diesel and gas powered counterparts. More importantly, they know how to make them affordable. And for that reason, we present you our list of 12 new cheap electric trucks from China with their range in prices that can soon take over the global pickup market. Dongfeng Rich 6 EV The Rich 6 is a well-known name in the Chinese pickup market. It's a pretty upscale truck, which doesn't come as a surprise, considering that it's essentially a rebadged and restyled Nissan Navara. It features the same design, including a couple of internal combustion engines, but the Chinese company decided to take a step further and develop an all-electric version, something that Nissan Navara doesn't have. In any case, two variants are on offer both with a single electric motor. Unfortunately, the base model, which is priced at around 40,000 when translated to dollars, comes with a 163 horsepower electric motor and a 60 kilowatt hour battery that can provide up to 350 kilometers of range. The more powerful version utilizes a 177 horsepower electric motor, as well as a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is enough for the max range of 453 kilometers. JMC Vegas EV JMC has been in the pickup truck segment for a long time, and it definitely knows how to make a good pickup. Therefore, we are not surprised with the overall performance of the all-electric Vegas, which stands out in many ways, starting from the modern styling and the 60 kilowatt hour battery that provides 330 kilometers of range, which can be extended by an impressive 150 kilometers if you drive under 40 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, only a single motor version is available at the moment, with around 160 horsepower, but nevertheless, the manufacturer promises some quite respectable ratings in terms of towing and payload, up to 1,400 kilograms and 1,225 kilograms, respectively. With all these qualities in mind, it doesn't surprise that this pickup already managed to expand to several markets across Asia, Central and South America, where its price usually starts between $45,000 and $50,000. Qingling Isuzu Taga EV When you partner up with a company like Isuzu, things can hardly go wrong. The Taga is a perfect example, as it benefits a lot from the fact it's heavily based on the D-Max, one of the best pickup trucks around. It uses the same chassis and overall design with minor tweaks at the front, but the Chinese company also offers an all-electric version with a pretty attractive starting price of around $40,000. For that money, you get a single electric motor mounted on the rear axle with a max power of 201 horsepower and 400 Nm of torque, which is on par with pretty much any diesel pickup on the market. With that in mind, the max payload capacity goes up to also respectable 1,500 kilograms. As for the battery, the 64 kilowatt hour pack provides a pretty decent 380 kilometers on a single charge. SAIC Maxxis T90 EV After a pretty good reception of the diesel powered truck, the Maxxis T90 now also comes in an all electric version ready to conquer various markets around the world. Moreover, it is the first all-electric pickup to ever arrive in the UK, where it starts with a quite hefty price of around 50000 In China, it can be found for a little over $38,000. In any case, this pickup has a lot of great things to offer, starting from a futuristic design that sticks to the design language of the ICE version, but adds a nice layer of details that accentuate its all-electric nature. More importantly, it comes with a pretty massive 88.5 kilowatt hour battery pack that ensures 355 kilometers on a single charge. Once again, there is just a single electric motor version with the 177 HP unit on the rear axle, which provides a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour but a relatively modest payload capacity of 1,000 kilograms. Photon Tundland EV With a starting price of around 329,000 yuan, which equals to $51,750, the Photon Tundland EV definitely isn't the most affordable electric pickup you can buy in China. On the other hand, it definitely is among the most capable ones, especially when it comes to the max towing capacity, which goes all the way to 3,000 kilograms or 6,600 pounds. For comparison, that's more than the new Tacoma Hybrid can tow. But strong towing potential isn't the only thing to like about this pickup. 
the modern styling along with a well-built interior also comes to mind. While the single electric motor provides a pretty decent 174 horsepower and quite respectable 330 Nm of torque. Finally, there is a 68 kilowatt hour battery pack, which should provide enough juice to make up to 340 kilometers on a single charge. GWM Power EV. The Great Wall Motors, one of the highest renowned manufacturers in China, has come to the final stage of development of its all electric pickup called the Power EV. According to the late reports, it will hit the market by the end of this year. And from what we can see, it seems like we'll have everything it needs to be one of the class leaders, not just among Chinese counterparts, but among mid-sized pickups around the world. The first thing to notice is the styling, which looks massive and rugged, with a lot of resemblance to the previous generation Toyota Tundra. But what's most important, the single motor version will feature a capable 204 horsepower unit, while the dual motor variant has been rumored as well. As for the single motor version, the max torque is expected to go around 300 Nm, while the max range is projected at 405 kilometers in the base variant. The price is yet to be announced. JAC T9 Hunter EV The JAC T9 Hunter EV is set for its debut later this year, and one of its main advantages over the competition will be the attractive price of $42,000 for the base variant. That model will come in a double cab variant with a pretty attractive styling full of black cladding and a massive chrome grille. Under the skin, this pickup truck will utilize a single electric motor with 201 horsepower and 295 Nm of torque. While the 77 kilowatt hour battery pack should ensure a max range of up to 300 kilometers. As for the max towing and payload capacity, they won't be spectacular, but are expected to go around 1,000 kilograms. But things could improve a lot with the dual motor version, which is also in the plans, according to our insiders. Shangan Kuyan CD701 Initially presented last September, the Shangan Q1 CD701 is definitely one of the most interesting concepts we've seen in a while, and it looks like production is about to start later this year. What's so special about the CD701? Well, its design approach, which is more about style and luxury than utility. Imagine, it has a new, all-electric version of the Chevy Avalanche, or even the Escalade EXT, but only sleeker and even more stylish. So far, the officials are quiet about specs. We don't know much about the battery or performance either, while the price is also yet to be announced. But on the other hand, we know it will be equipped with the latest tech features, including industry-first vehicle satellite communication, as the manufacturer likes to call it. Essentially, it is a satellite connection that allows the truck to connect to the internet wherever in the world at any time. SAIC LDV ET60 designed primarily for Australian and New Zealand markets. The T60 represents a slightly smaller iteration of the T90. Does that mean it's less capable? Not at all, because it comes with a 174 horsepower electric motor and 310 Nm of torque, just like the T90. Moreover, it also comes with the same 88.5 kilowatt hour battery pack and testers from down under actually proved it can make 330 kilometers on a single charge in real world exploitation which is quite an achievement. As for the price, the ET60 isn't cheap. It currently starts at around 93,000, which would be around 61,000 when translated to US dollars. However, keep in mind that local distributors occasionally come with massive discounts, like it happened last year in New Zealand, when the discount was so big that the actual price was lower compared to its diesel counterpart, Geely Radar RD6. Without any doubt, the Geely Radar RD6 is the cheapest electric pickup you can find. But what's more impressive than the sum itself is what you get in return. This is a brand new pickup, and unlike most other models on the list, it was built on a dedicated EV platform. With that in mind, it doesn't surprise that its performances are far superior. Let's start with the electric motor, which puts out a quite impressive 278 horsepower, enough to hit 100 kilometers an hour in just six seconds. But that's not all. The dual motor version with even more power is coming. Then there is a choice of three battery configurations. The cheapest model, of course, come with the smallest battery, a 63 kilowatt hour unit that provides up to 345 kilometers on a single charge. If that's not enough for you, 86 and 100 kilowatt hour batteries are also available with a max range that goes way up to 450 kilometers and 610 kilometers respectively. 
BYD Pickup BYD stands out as the biggest and most advanced EV maker from China, the only true Tesla rival, as some like to say. So it seems quite natural to see it working on an all-electric pickup with all the technology this company has, as well as the power to slash down prices, there is no doubt this is going to be one pretty appealing pickup. The test mule has already been spotted on the road, though camouflaged while the company still keeps details a secret. But if we can refer to the officials, the goal is not just to offer a pickup that can beat the all-electric competition. The actual goal is to finally develop an electric pickup that can beat ICE trucks like Helix and Ranger in terms of towing capacity and overall performance. More of that will be known soon, considering that various sources suggest that the pickup's launch is later this year. Sherry Pickup Sherry is also working on its pickups and the latest reports suggest it could come already in the next year. The idea is to offer a small pickup that could compete all around the world. For that reason, it won't be too big, but rather with a size similar to pickups like Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. But Sherry's pickup will be a genuine body-on-frame truck, while the company plans both ICE and all-electric options. As for the electric version, the company promises a lot, including an impressive max range of 700 kilometers. Allegedly, the new pickup will use the same all-electric setup as the Stera sedan, which also means an advanced 800-volt architecture and potentially a dual-motor setup with a total output of 473 horsepower. Moreover, the officials also talked about the battery swapping feature for the domestic market. And with all that in mind, we are pretty sure that Cherry's pickup could easily be one of the global leaders in the segment. All in all, the Chinese EV pickup segment is in a big swing. And with further technological advances, as well as a great balance between quality and price, soon enough they will become relevant players on the global scale. Can they beat ICE counterparts, dominant forces like Toyota Helix or Ford Ranger anytime soon? It is left to be seen. If you want to see more electric pickup trucks, check out this video. See you there.